Not all rigging is performed by climbers in the tree. These days, a number of arborists are working out of aerial lifts. When working out of an aerial lift, though, there are a number of special precautions that need to be taken. Placement. Where do I want to place myself? The bucket truck, the booms, all these things are very important. First, first off, when I place the truck, the aerial lift itself, I need to think about will it be out of the way of swinging limbs or dropping logs or limbs? I want to make sure that that's out of the landing zone. The same goes for the boom itself. I, don't, I want to make sure that after I cut a limb and maybe if it's going to swing, that it's going to swing away from the boom and not towards it. And of course, myself here in the bucket. I want to make sure that I'm in the right spot also. I want to be on the side away from where the limb is going to swing. So these are things we need to take very seriously so we put ourselves in the right place to do the job. Here for this first limb that we're going to remove, I've employed a technique called redirect rigging. I've set a primary block up on the main stem of the tree. But that does not give me a good straight shot down to a good landing area. So I've added a redirect block out here using a loopy sling, which is an adjustable sling. Notice up above the primary block, because this, the main stem comes out towards me, I've backed it up. This can help to absorb forces that can come into play during rigging situations. Let's take a closer look at the method that Rip has used to reinforce the crotch overhead. First, we've attached the line to one side. Then we've run around through a little crotch here. In this case, he, Rip had a little bit of a stub that he could bring, run the rope around. We've tied a butterfly knot in line and then passed the rope back through it. That gives us a little more ability to pull that sling or line taut. Then by passing around again, we then tie it off. And there are actually numerous ways we could tie that off. The length of the sling or the rope may have something to do with how we choose to do that. Okay? Simple way to reinforce that crotch. Now, when I am employing a redirected rigging technique, there are some things I do need to take into account. One, as I said, it is nice because it can help put me right above the work area, the landing area that I prefer. And another thing is it does put more rope into the system, which is nice because that can help reduce some of the forces that are attributed during rigging. One thing I do need to be careful of, though, is that when I redirect the rigging line, say as I've done here out on a limb, I am changing where some of the reactive forces are going to be. And that's very important. I want to make sure that I've got a good stout limb that I'm using. Because if I'm, I'm rigging a very heavy piece below it, and I put a lot of force into the system, this limb may not be able to, to handle the load. So these are some things I need to keep in, keep in mind. 